search for houses and I'm looking in North Carolina and this is like one of the houses for sale that's actually a really good price. This is a dining room. Look at the dog. Do you think that his cage is a little too small? Look at his hair poking out on top. <laughs> what kind of dog is that anyway? It's like huge and fluffy. Like a huge poodle or something. Yeah, can you tell these people smoked? <laughs> and there's the oxygen to prove it. Yeah, we don't want something that we have to fix up too much and that smells. <laughs> Look at the air vent, what it's blowing up. This is probably like the filthiest house I've ever seen for sale. These are white walls. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at the white baseboard there. Something was blocking its way. <laughs> wow. So this house is really cheap, um, but it's it's kind of really cluttery in every room. But in my head, I can remove all of this stuff. Just like I can ignore a baby crying if it's not a serious cry, you know, because you can block stuff out. I can block this out completely and I can see everything in this room, like the bones of it, right? Without any of the other stuff in it. But Hadar can't do that, so if he saw this picture, he'd be like, no. <laughs> you know, right away, but no, because he doesn't like clutter, and he can't block it out. This is what kind of house you want, because you know it's going to be clean, because they wrap their own furniture in plastic, because they're scared of themselves. So you know this house is clean. <laughs> Could you freaking imagine? Look outside. Anyway, I wanted to show you how they wrap their cords. It's amazing. I saw that in like several different rooms. Very pretty. This house is gorgeous too. Well, it is Florida. So, you do get lizards in your house. I don't know if I would take a picture of it and try to sell my house on the internet with a picture of a lizard in it. This is a restaurant. What is it? I'm really thinking that this might be a crime scene. Like what in the world? And this right here, that's asbestos. See, this is more asbestos. It's probably why this house is so cheap. It's a concrete uh, block house, but um, this stuff right here, used to put the tiles down, all of this is asbestos. Because it's, it was like, glued the tiles down onto the floor. And this is an older home. This isn't mold. This is dirt. Like, was a bear living here? Really? This dirt. Was it a meth lab? This house is dirt cheap. And there's some really nice features to it. Wood floors. It is dirt cheap. 
like I could pay it off within a year. <laughs> but it would cost more than what the house is worth. I mean, look at the... It looks like a meth lab. But look how nice that is with the wood floors. I would do away with the paneling. I'd paint it. But the wood floors and the fireplace, that could be fixed up really nice. This house is for sale, and this realtor is very good. You should actually go with a realtor like this because they will go above and beyond for you. Like, not getting out of the vehicle to take pictures. Yeah, okay. So this is very interesting. These people are completely remodeling this house. But check out their electric work here. Yes. Yes, you will not die if you walk through that door. Look at that roof. It's really, really nice. Have you ever seen the macaroni grill and how they decorate outside of it? This home is already landscaped for you, literally. Okay. And this house was confused on what walls and what roofs are. I actually kind of like this. It's like restaurant seating, but like in your kitchen. I kind of like it. Like you can have every night be a date night. I like that. I love booth seating, you know that. People are kind of greedy with water. So like, this is your water from property right here. Look, that's all yours right there. Like, this is the worst shaped property ever. But look, it's waterfront. I don't like that. <laughs> that's not cute. And it's very expensive too, for what it is. Uh, just for some water. What do you notice about this picture that is a little weird? Can you see it? I busted out laughing when I saw it. When you see it. <laughs> this guy's taking pictures with his drone. That's a pretty good idea. So drones can get 4K video. <laughs> There's two things here that I really like that I would love to incorporate into our house. And it's this wood right here. And the ceiling how it has beams now they do sell fake beams like this they're like styrofoam and they look real very real um, I really like I just like how that looks I want something like that for an accent wall maybe break it up with lighter shades but I do love this color of wood this guy's working so he can't be bothered to move <laughs> I think the translation may be a little off on this one because the address is the illegal immigrants. So I don't know about that. Well, we're just going to go ahead and end the video now. It's been a long, arduous process trying to find a house in Israel and trying to find a house in America. And we still have a long way to go. My husband's on the phone right now with some movers and shakers. And they're going to move our stuff for us. We're moving very soon in Israel. Um, and we'll probably be here for another year. Yeah. And we're going to make the best of this year and travel in Israel. And you're going to see a lot more of Israel soon to come. So stay tuned. I do want to tell you for sure that we are moving to Florida. And we will be living in between Ocala and Orlando so that is like a definite for sure and I know you guys were excited to hear some kind of update but that is 
that is what we can tell you. That is the area that we want to live in. That's the area that we are going to live in. It's a very small town, but it's in between, it, like almost exactly in between Ocala, Orlando, and Daytona. We have friends in Daytona. Uh, Hadar and I both have gaming friends that live in Daytona and Orlando. So, and we have met them in real life, you know, and we've hung out with them. So th this should be really exciting for us when we do eventually get to America next year. Thank you guys so much for watching our channel and supporting us through everything. Um, we're trying to make this move as easy as possible on everyone. So we're working hard today to get it done. Um, we're really packing and just getting everything together. So thank you guys and we'll see you tomorrow with another either a short video or a daily vlog. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the channel, the other channels. We make videos every day. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.